that's the front of my Ozark Trail A-frame tent, 12-person tent. That thing is huge. It's a little difficult to set up by one person, but it can be done. Here's the inside of my Ozark Trail mansion, my pretty A-frame. There's my nice DOD adjustable chair, my Trekology table, my Yescom cot tent. It all sets up nicely. I've got enough room to put up my other cot that I can just stretch out on without having to crawl in the... It's got a little bag there for hanging stuff in. And I've got a light right here. It's hard to see in the daylight, but it, you can see they're lit up. It shines pretty good at night. And there's the front wall. This thing's really pretty. I think I'm going to like this little house. A lot of room in here. The floor is 12 by 14. It's wider than it is long. Well, that's enough to look at this. Well, I've inspected the inside of this A-frame. It's been raining for several hours pretty steady and sometimes hard. I haven't found the first drop of water in here anywhere. I've inspected all the seams. I had an Ozark Trail tent a long time ago. And it never did leak. Well, along it to somebody and they burned a hole in the floor and never brought the tent back to me and let it lay in a basement and rock the canvas part of it, the roof and everything. We never had a minute's trouble out of that tent. Camped in it quite a bit. Yeah, this Working out pretty good. I've got my nice little setup there. I've got my DOD chair. Got my little trackology table. It's real easy to put together. And then there's the Yescom cot tent. That's the extra wide single model got it that size so I could use it on my pontoon boat because the double wide if I put it on there I ain't got room to get up and down but this is a fantastic little little tent and I just set it up in here I thought well if it storms and rains and leaks I don't care but I don't have a drop in here looks pretty good and I've got enough room to set up another cot. Actually, I could put two cots over on this side. Another cot here. There's room enough for, I'd say, no less than four cots and room for the chairs and tables and stuff. The only thing I was worried about is my cardboard boxes that I keep the stuff stored in. It's a lot easier to put it back in the original box, the outside box, the inner box. Won't be able to use it. It's easier to store stuff that way. But I really like this tent. Well, old and crackadated. 
I don't know. Well, I finally got some water in the tent, but it's because the stake to the rain fly pulled off on this corner and flipped back. But not much water. It's just had some pretty high winds, 40 mile an hour or better. But for it to come through that good, just a little blew in right here on this corner where the mesh is because the flap was way back over here and it got some in this corner. Other than that, with 40 mile an hour wind, everything held up good. So just a little minor water. Yeah, that was a pretty good storm last night, and this thing held up to it. A little more than that in here with the storm flap blowing up. Well, it even turned this table over right here. The wind got so bad. I had it sitting back close to the wall and wind blew the wall in. But that's all it did. So I'm happy with it. No other leaks, not a drop anywhere. I've looked all over, can't find a drop. Nothing on this, none in the corners. Did good.